It's a sweet thread twisted through the collective memory of generations of St. Louisans. Switzer's licorice was a staple in the city. It's brick factory and anchor on Laclede's Landing along the Eads Bridge for years. The whole riverfront smelled like candy for decades, and there was that big sign pointing towards the arch, Switzer's licorice with a big candy bar on it. Patrick Murphy knows pretty much everything about Switzer's licorice. You could say it's in his blood. My great-grandfather actually started the company with Fred Switzer, who was his brother-in-law. And it just so happened that my dad worked there, and his dad worked there, and his dad worked there, and a bunch of other men in my family over the years. Murphy's new book, Candy Men, The Story of Switzer's Licorice, tells the story of how his family and the Switzers started the candy company, building their own combined American dream right here in St. Louis. My great-grandfather came over from Ireland where he worked as a, at his, in his family's candy store. And this was back in the 1850s. And he got involved in a revolution in Ireland and had to leave because they wanted to hang him. And he came to America with nothing. All he knew was how to make candy. He came to St. Louis and married a woman named Margaret Switzer who had a brother named Fred. So it started out as the Murphy Switzer Candy Company and then it evolved into the Switzer Candy Company. And three generations of Murphys and Switzers ended up working together. Through two world wars, economic depressions, and labor unrest. So it's an American dream story, it's an immigrant story, and it's a story about how this well-known factory was interwoven with the history of St. Louis. That story became history when Hershey bought Switzer's licorice in the mid-90s. The candy giant shuttered the factory to focus on its own brand of licorice, Twizzlers, but Switzer's licorice yet again endured. The family relaunched the company in 2005 with its signature licorice recipe, and Murphy launched into a new career. This is the first actual book that I've written, like with a cover and pages and pictures in it and everything. Uh, before that, I did a lot of writing for television. And it's really interesting because writing for a real book is really different. Right now I'm adapting the book uh, for a television show, which will uh, eventually air on PBS. He says some of his favorite protagonists from Candy Men are actually Candy Women. The majority of the employees who worked at Switzer's for a century were women. Within the families, the Switzer family and the Murphy family, the strongest and most interesting characters are, are really the women who kept on taking the men going off in their crazy directions and pulling them back into, in, into reality. Uh, you know, the courage and the strength of the women in the family and at the factory are a really important part of this. And you might just catch a glimpse of them in the book. One of the interesting things about the book is there are lots and lots of photographs. There are almost a hundred photographs of the factory and St. Louis during this time. So if you like looking at pictures, I do. <laughs> It's kind of a fun, uh, a fun book to, uh, to look at as well as read. Candy Men, The History of Switzer's Licorice is available in local bookstores and can be ordered at readypress.com and at candymenthebook.com.